been a very long day. And we even canceled one of my appointments. Yeah, I don't think we would have been able to get all three of them in. We probably would have, but we would have been, like, rushing and rushing and rushing. But... Introducing... Hello, Ebony! There's Hi, baby! Okay, it's time for Neighborhood on, Community Shoutouts! Okay! Uh, some hopes and prayers, guys. Greg Meyer's cousin, Brian, is back in the hospital with an infection in his pancreas. Mm. So, keep him in your thoughts and prayers, everybody. Um, FUD64. Um, we know that she's been having uh, a lot of medical issues, and we've asked you to keep her in your thoughts and prayers, um... A few times but what I didn't know is that her husband also has health issues he has bladder cancer so if we can all keep FUD 64 and her husband in your thoughts and prayers as well we would all greatly appreciate that and uh, FUDs you and your husband are in our thoughts and prayers as well and Ashley Smith not sure if you're new or not, and whenever I'm not sure, I have to do it anyway. Welcome to the neighborhood. And we have a happy 78th birthday wow. to the Abyss 92882's grandma. 78 years old. Be safe and have a happy birthday. Don't get too drunk. Yeah, don't get drunk on your 78th birthday. <laughs> okay, and my question yesterday was, what... Freckles. My question yesterday is... <laughs> All right, pull it together. My question yesterday was, what is your favorite meal, and when was the last time you had it, and how often do you have it? Right? I think so. I think so. Okay. And we got Bella Luna and Tracy Quick say sushi. Sushi. I love sushi too. Ah. I just had it on Mother's Day. Megan treated me to sushi on Mother's Day. Fuds 64. She listed a couple of things, but this one really sounds good. Would kill me. I'm not going to be able to have sushi after my surgery, and I definitely am not going to be able to have this either. It's bacon wrapped bratswurst sausage with sweet and sour sauce. Wow. Doesn't that sound good? I feel my arteries hardening Ooh, just thinking about it. Yeah, but that sounds really good. I'm not going to be able to have that after my surgery either. And then we have Melody Mainville. Garlic sautéed king crab. That sounds delicious. I wonder, if they, I wonder if I can have that. Maybe not right after, but, you know, like a year or two down the line. I hope so. I hope so. Kim's and Fairy would know. Can I have that maybe a year or two <laughs> down the line? Because she went through this already. Okay. Yeah. Crimson Fairy. You're going to have to help me with this, baby. What is that word? Lapskoff. It's a Norwegian stew <laughs> that her grandmother used to make. She rarely has it because she can't duplicate it. Isn't it the way it goes? You just can't, you know. Made with luna fish? What is that? <laughs> okay. And... I gotta read Betsy Wetsies, okay? My mother's side, my mother's side of the family were full Italian, and oh. she and Grandma made the best homemade pizza and stuffed breads, stuffed with all sorts of gourmet cheeses, mushrooms, mm. and tomatoes. 
they would custom make the pizza and bread for each of us depending on what our favorite trimmings were. They are both in heaven now. But I have made bowls for myself this year. One of my goals is that I will take their recipes and learn to make them myself. Sounds like a nibbling to me. Yeah, I think when you do that, you need to send us a little video of you doing that so we can do an episode on nibbling with the neighbors of Betsy Wetsy oh. making that. So, what is your all-time favorite meal, and when's the last time you had it, and how often do you get it? I don't know. I don't know. It's do you, okay. You, you won't hurt you think, my feelings. What do you think is my favorite meal? It, it tends to change. I eat something until I'm sick of it, usually. Does that sound familiar? So, I, there's nothing that I said, oh, I... So, but I would have to say the one thing that uh, we all like is my turkey tacos. And so, I'm going to say turkey tacos. I'm not going to say that. Okay. Okay. The last time we had that was just last week, and we're going to have it again on Saturday. Because we're making it for someone for his birthday. Yeah. And you know who you are. I hope so. My all-time favorite meal, and I can't remember the last time I had it, and no, I don't get it often enough, and I really, really, really would like to have it. Um, I, 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 no. No? No. Mm -mm. Nope. I, I'm talking home-cooked meal. Oh. I'm talking a home-cooked meal. Um, I don't know how to make it as, as good as my mother has made it and I would love to to learn how she made it stuffed cabbage I mean I can make stuffed cabbage but it does not taste anything like my mother's stuffed cabbage okay stuffed cabbage yep 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 that's my choice okay <clears throat> my question for tonight has to do with a little bit of something that happened to us yesterday. What's something that people do in traffic that really bothers you and why? Like uh, talking too much and missing their exit and... Uh... <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Okay. Okay, last night's question was about Young Frankenstein, 1974. I can't believe that it's actually that old. I remember seeing it in the theater. Um, um honey. Okay. And my question was, what song was inspired by that movie? It was um, uh, Walk This Way by Aerosmith. So the, the, the song was inspired by a line that was, uh, that, was, uh, that was uttered by Marty Feldman playing Igor. 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 It's Igor. Pronounced, it's pronounced Igor. Well, it's wrong. It's like Friedrich Frankenstein. I don't know. Yes, you are. So, um... That's what inspired the song. And of course, the song has nothing to do with the movie. It's just the line. And the ones who got that right was Terry Johnson, Bella Luna, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, Bambi S, Tresemme One, and Fud 64. Woo! Cool. Ooh, I'm sorry, Bubba. I told you I was going to turn out to be so loud. So, tonight's question has to do with. 1987 Stephen King movie, Pet Cemetery. How many cats were used to play Church? Or Winston Churchill the cat, which was, who was a uh, uh, a blue British blue hair. So there's your question. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We wouldn't be here today if it were 
for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Bye.